Hello friends, welcome back to automationtestingsider.com. So in the last video we talked about software testing. Now today we'll discuss about manual testing. So what do you mean by manual testing? So testing of an application to find out the defects and test the application manually is called the manual testing. So the name itself uh, says right manual manual testing. So testing of an application without any automation tool is called the manual testing. So take an example, suppose we have airlines website, airline application, okay, and we want to test it. So what we need to do, we have to manually involve, right, in, we have to involve, uh, physically we involve in the application, like to test the application. We have to log in the application, we have to book the tickets, okay, we have to select the form date and to date to book the ticket. And this is how we have to test the different functionalities manually. So, and there is a certain process about the manual testing as well. So, uh, in couple of minutes, I'll show you what are the different uh, things in manual testing. So, uh, we'll discuss about what is manual testing and uh, how to perform the manual testing. What are the different types of manual testing in couple of minutes, guys, uh, in my PPT. And at last, we'll discuss about uh, some misconception about the manual testing. So, let's get it started. the defects bugs in a software program so with defects bugs and error in detail in sep in a separate video so right now what you can understand is some if something is not working as expected is called the defect okay so manual testing is the process of finding out the defects bugs in a software program this is one of the definition of manual testing a tester performs the end user rule and verifies if all the features are working properly or not. So this is called the manual testing. Okay, so if we need to act as end user guys, end user, because we are delivering the uh, application to the customer. So we need to act as a customer to verify the application, whether it is working as per their needs or not. So that is manual testing. The tester performs the, uh, the test step by step manually. In the testing, we can assess the quality of the application. So as long as uh, we'll do the testing, definitely the quality of the software will be increased because we will find so many defects, we'll raise them and get it get it fixed. So definitely the quality of the software will be increased by doing the software testing or manual testing. What are the different types of manual testing we can perform? we have unit testing we can perform using uh, we can do the unit testing and integration testing we have black box testing box testing we have system testing and we have acceptance testing so these are the different testing guys and we have uh, so many subtypes of all these uh, testing types as well so i'm not going to explain right now in detail but we are going to talk about so many testing types in detail in coming days so you, for your understanding just understand like these are the different kind of testing which we can perform manually which we can do manually okay so these are the different types of testing and how to perform manual testing okay so there is a certain process like uh, stlc process software testing life cycle okay so i'll talk about the brief about the uh, testing life cycle so understand the requirements from the software requirement specification document. So first thing is we need to understand the requirements. What is the customer requirement? And identify the scenario and create a clear test plan. So uh, if you are not aware of this scenario or test plan or these uh, stuff, right? So we'll discuss them in detail. Do not worry about this. Okay, because we are going to discuss about a lot of topics in coming days. Design the test cases that cover all the requirements defined in the document. So third step is design the test cases which covers all the requirements defined in the document. Get the test cases reviewed. Okay, so we'll talk about test cases also. What what is test cases? What is use cases? Okay, we'll talk about all these stuff is, as well. So design the test cases means authoring the test cases uh, which covers all the requirements from the customer, and then get uh, we need to get it reviewed from the uh, from our peer or from our lead okay uh, peer level review and then QA lead level review 
based on uh, and update it based on the reviews and execute the test cases and detect any defects okay or bugs so whenever we get any defect we have to log it okay and report the defects to developer and track the status and at last once bugs gets fixed again execute the failing test cases to verify they are passed so this is just kind of a brief about the uh, the steps or uh, i would say the complete testing process but in in coming days we are going to talk about stlc in detail and defect life cycle as well and we'll discuss about defect error all these terms we are going to discuss in detail guys important about uh, manual testing like misconception or uh, some myths about manual testing so what is the first one anyone can do manual testing so this is totally a misconception or myth guys like uh, anyone can do the software uh, manual testing okay because it requires certain knowledge and you should have very good understanding about the software testing there is certain process certain methodology you need to follow to do the manual testing so this is totally wrong that anyone can do the manual testing it's not an easy job the second myth is testing is just verifying the app from the ui so again uh, one more myth about the testing guys like uh, anyone can i mean it just verify the ui it's it's not like that because we have to do lot of different testing it's not just about the ui like by saying the ui we need to just do the ui level testing it's not like that we have to do lot of other testing as well like we have to do the integration testing system testing and then database testing also involves okay so there are so many kind of things involved in testing it's not just like uh, we need to just see the application let's say we have uh we have facebook application so we need to just the, see the application and uh, do some testing it's not like that because we have to verify all those details like whether uh, let's say i'm entering the username password and then uh other details entering right so all those details should be captured in the database and there are so many other factors as well so we'll discuss uh, about what are the different types of testing we can do it's not just about the ui myth 3 number 3 is testing ensures 100% defect free product it's totally wrong so uh, if you can do any kind of testing uh, whatever you will do it's it's it will not cover the 100% defect free product so this is a myth about testing like uh, whatever you do if even if you are very intelligent or you are uh, excellent you cannot cover cover the 100% Uh, functionality of any application okay so this is again a misconception about the testing or manual testing okay another one is automated testing is more powerful than the manual testing so this is totally wrong so unless if your product is uh, stable okay you cannot do automation testing first of all okay so we need to perform the manual testing firstly and then we need to ensure that it is good enough to do for uh, i mean its applica uh, our application is good enough for the automation testing then only we uh, we have to go for automation testing okay and it is more powerful how can you ensure that right first we need to do the manual testing and we need to uh, see like what are the different uh, uh, i mean there there might be so many defects right uh, when we do the testing So we say that uh, manual testing is powerful or automation testing is powerful because they have different uh, uh, pros and cons of automation testing as well as manual testing. So we cannot say uh, we cannot say that automation automated testing is more power th powerful than the manual testing. And one is manual testing is non-technical and easy. So this is again a myth, guys. So Uh, as i have uh, discussed earlier like in point 1 like it's it's not easy and we should we should have some kind of knowledge about the software testing process the method methodology and the thinking is very important uh, to do the software testing okay so these are the different misconception about the manual testing
so thank you guys in the next video we'll discuss about probably uh, software development uh, develop, uh, development life cycle so if you are new to my channel then please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos thank you guys